for the month of January 2020, I'm going to be giving away a few of these awesome items left over on my Nothing Something account to a few of you guys watching at home. So if you do want to be in the chance of winning them, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Secondly, drop a like on today's video and third of all, comment your details down below. But as well as that, tell me which platform you are on. And three lucky winners will have the chance of selecting any item they want on the very last upload of January. So yeah, best of luck to every single one of you. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel once again. I hope you're having a fantastic day as always. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the top 10 most skyrocketing items on the whole of Rocket League. So, at the moment, there are so many different items on Rocket League actually going up in value. And I thought today would be a great opportunity to even teach one of you guys watching at home what you should be buying and to make profit on. And yesterday, out of curiosity, I took a look at my statistics on my channel. And over 70% of you guys watching aren't even subs to the channel. So, if you are new around here and you do want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on this top 10 list took hours of research and a very long time to edit as well so if you guys could crush that like button it would mean the world to me on this video especially let's go for 1000 likes now be absolutely insane and yeah let's get into the top 10 and quickly before we do get into the video i'd like to give a huge shout out to aoa.com for sponsoring today's rocket league video this site provides flexibility and safety to every single order if you want to buy and sell loads of different rocket league items they do some insane deals on there and use code zenic at checkout to get yourself three percent off every single order Okay, so at the number 10 spot is going to be the Titanium White Hexide, first released in the Frosty Crate in, I think it was early or mid to 2019, and this was a big hit when it first came out. One of the first black markets to be painted behind the mainframe, and yeah, there was a massive, massive demand for it. However, over the past few months, and especially with the Blueprint update with the massive credit demand, there wasn't really that much hype for it, but if you take a look at this graph, over the past two weeks, you can see a little spike, and it's been going up and up over the past few days, um, and it's actually gone up over a 1,000 credits so far. And with a massive demand, obviously it's a white black market. There's always going to be that hype there. I feel like this could keep on going up and up and up. And then if we take a look at the graph for the past three months, you can actually see a massive yikes because this thing used to be well over 100 keys in value. But obviously when with the credits being added, you could just see the massive drop. And as soon as the credits did get added, look at that massive dip. But yeah, as you can see, it's starting to increase again. So that is going to be the number 10 spot. So at the number nine spot is going to be the white emeralds. Ignore that I've got the striker ones. That's when I used to have them back in the day. But the regular white emeralds, emeralds right now have started to hit an increase because we haven't had any rlcs streams for a long time and that just means they're going to be even more rare in the game and with this being one of the later wheels to turn up into the rlcs streams the market was absolutely flooded with them but the market has settled down a little bit now and with every single rlcs item going up you can just see the increase right here it's gone up over 2,000 credits in the past two weeks and as you can see in just o in just over a week i'm pretty sure it's gone up that 2000 credits so there's a massive potential obviously with it being a massive titanium white wheel and yes there's a massive history with this wheel when it used to be worth over 400 keys which is equivalent to 40000 credits but i don't know if it's going to hit that peak again but it will definitely keep going up as you can see by the graph it's only been going up recently so yeah that's the white emerald in the number 9 spot okay and for the number 8 spot it's going to be the white helios and for this one i had to borrow a little bit of gameplay but i'm sure this guy's fine with it i've linked him in the description and I've also put his name on screen so you can check it out if you want. But basically, the White Helios hasn't been in drop since 2018. It got released when the White Apexes were dropped as well in 2017. And yeah, there's just been a massive demand for it over the past few weeks. So realistically, I could have actually put it higher because it only just went up again. So that most likely just shows it's going to keep on rising. But yeah, you can see there's been a massive a thousands of credits you can actually make profit on if you bought it a couple of weeks ago. But the reason I put it at number 8, you'll just have to wait and see. There are some big, big numbers when you get higher up in the list. But yeah, taking a look at the White Helios is starting to actually rise back up to the price it used to be which is i think around 200 keys and yeah it's just going to keep on going up i'm pretty sure and if you take a look from the blueprint update how much has actually risen that is quite impressive so you, you just have to admit so yeah the white helios is getting the number eight spot okay so the number seven spot is going to be these gray apexes once again ignore the certification but these did in fact get dropped in 2017 they haven't been back in the stream since 2018 so the massive rarity is obviously going to increase the value and every single apex apex should i say on the market right now is absolutely exploding so first of all yeah just take a look at that graph over the past two weeks it's gone up like four times and just look at the value it's gone up to forty thousand credits which is the most i've ever seen in my life that is over 400 keys just for one gray apex absolutely insane it probably should be higher but you'll just have to wait and see what's in front once again i don't really need to say anything else just look at the graph right now it used to be valued no more than like 200 keys before this update 
But as you can see right now, even when the update hit, it started rising instantly. And the demand right now for every single Apex is ridiculous. Especially with white rising so much, which is on the list, by the way. Grey is obviously going to follow. So, yeah, absolutely incredible. Okay, so at the number six spot is going to be the Crimson Apexes. Once again, dropped in the streams in 2017 and 2018. But hasn't been known on the market since. So, obviously, the rarity is going to be there. And once again, I have to borrow footage. But everyone is linked in the description. But, yeah, just take a look at these bad boys. They also look absolutely crazy crazy so generally there could be an argument for which one should be higher the gray or the crimson but in my opinion crimson has to be that little bit further just because look at the past few days how much has gone up absolutely thousands of credits and it's still been rising over the past week even more than the gray apexes so that's the only reason i'm putting it in front and yeah, it just looks insane once again. Every single Apex looks absolutely nuts. And yeah, once again, you can just see that the Crimson Apex used to be around that sort of price. But over the past few weeks, it has just exploded past its maximum value. And it, I probably would have put Grey in front. But just take a look at that graph and that massive spike over the past few days. You just cannot say no to that. So that is going to be the number six spot. Okay, so the number five spot is going to be the Titanium White Dominus RLCS. And once again, I'm sorry I had to borrow footage. But just taking a look at this bad boy is even enough. And I will explain why this thing is going up so much. So there was a certain card that was leaked a couple of weeks ago. Which was the White Dominus to come out. And you can just see by this graph how much people actually wanted to get the RLCSs. Because obviously, every single limited item that is from the RLCS stream just started rising. And secondly, this is going to be the most expensive Dominus decal on the whole of the market. And it has risen by over 50% in the past two weeks. That is just absolutely unheard of. And just following that, the reason I had to put it so high, just take a look at this graph and then tell me why. Like, it's absolutely crazy. It literally hit its max after the blueprint update and then bang it just hits this massive spike and i can see it going up even more so that's why it's going to be getting the number five spot okay so at the number four spot it's going to be the titanium white octane rlcs and this thing actually came out in 2017 but also got released in 2019 which was a massive shock to the community which completely dropped the price of it but you will see how it's actually spiking now so considering the dominus and the octane are going up at a similar rate you could probably argue that the dominus will be more just because of the massive hype right now but once that hype dies down i I feel like the Octane one is going to start shining and going up even more. And just taking a look at this graph once again, another 50% increase. It is just absolutely insane. So as you can see from this three-month graph, yeah, it's been dropping so much until the blueprint update. But it actually used to be worth so much more than that. It went up to like, I think it was 250 keys, which is 25,000 credits. But I could possibly be seeing it in the future going up to that much. We'll just have to wait and see. And that's going to take the number four spot. Okay, so do not kill me in the comments. It might be a bit controversial doing this. But at the number three spot, we are going to go with the Titanium White Apexes. These things got released in 2017. I got myself the Striker ones in 2018. Yeah, I've had so much history with the Striker White Apexes. But these White Apexes have been the most expensive item in the game for a very long time. So the reason why it's at the number three spot and not a potential two or one, it's just for the fact that it's very small spikes. But then the reason why it's not lower on the list is because look how much every single spike is going up. Right now, there's not a single person on the hold of the market selling for less than 100,000 credits. And that just completely blows my mind. So yeah, taking a look at the graph, there's nothing really new here just for the fact they used to be worth around 1,000 keys anyway. But they've never been over 1,000 key value sort of like settled. So... It hit a massive drop before the blueprint update at about 550 keys, which is just mental to me. That's so cheap for white apexes. And as you can see since, they've just been climbing and climbing the market, which is just absolutely insane to see. So it couldn't be any less than number three. So at the number two spot, we are going to be going with the Titanium White Doom Racer. And ignore the fact that I've got the Striker White one. That doesn't really matter too much in this video, obviously. But still, the reason why I put it so high in the list is because of the spikes that you will see in a minute. And once again, this thing has not come back into the streams. I'm pretty sure since 2017 or 2018. Now, arguably, this could be a decision where you're thinking, right, okay, how is this not behind White Apexes? but as you can see there's been a little spike a little spike then a massive spike and then another decent sized spike as well and the reason i put it in front of the white apex is just for the fact this is the most expensive decal in the game and i feel like it's got more room to actually go up because i feel like the white apexes won't go much further over one thousand well 100 000 credits if they do keep rising whereas so these i think has got a lot of room to go up and once again in comparison to the chart it used to be worth around the same sort of price but over the past i'd say few weeks you can just see the massive spike in demand for it. And I feel like this can keep on going up so, so far. So it's going to be interesting to see. And that is going to be the number two spot. Now, at the number one spot, huge shout out to S Mario as well for the gameplay. We are going to be going with the grey mainframe. And you're probably sat at home thinking, what is going on? Uh, but the grey mainframe 
actually got discontinued last year from crates. However, there's a chosen few on the market right now. And the price is you will not even believe how much they've actually got up. So when these things were released into crates, they were around 2,000 credits, I believe. And then apparently on the market, when they got discontinued, they went up to 5,000 credits on the spreadsheet. Now I do not see a single one on the market sold for less than 15,000 credits, which is 150 keys. And not even just that, there's a striker grey mainframe on the market right now. And he is wanting nothing less than either white apex one for one or 100,000 credits pure. That is just absolutely mental. And just by taking a look at a comparison, like white looks so much better than grey. But just for the fact there's literally barely any grey, there's a chosen few grey on the whole of the market. That is the reason this thing has gone up so much. And that is going to conclude the list. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I've put blood, sweat and tears into this video. So many hours of editing and so many hours of fighting prices. What is going up the most in value? So if you are new around here and you do want to see more of this content, make sure you are clicking that big red, big red subscribe button, should I say, and turning on post notifications. And I want to do videos like this in the future, putting more effort into them. So if you do want to see more videos like this in the future, more editing, etc., make sure you are crushing that like button. Let's go for one thousand likes now be absolutely insane and yeah i will see you guys next time